Beautiful Namaste, yogis. Here we are in my home in Maui. I just arrived last night. I've been gone since January. It is now August 30th, 2022. We've been out on tour all year and I'm finally home to Maui. Now I know I make a lot about you're at home in your own heart, you're at home wherever you are, but also <laughs> there is such a thing of feeling at home in certain places with certain people and in certain situations. We're here today in this video to celebrate that. For a long time, the yogis have said the downward facing dog is a home pose. You get some strength, you get some flexibility, you give your head a rest because it's an inversion. And so in this video, we'll just begin to explore the home of downward facing dog. All right, so let's start where we are. So whether you're resting on the earth or you might be seated or you might be standing, take a moment here, just close your eyes wherever you are. Turn your gaze inside and allow a big inhale to occur. And a big exhale. Connect with your breath. Breathe in, big, long, full, nourishing, loving breath. Long, slow release. Let it happen and let everything go on your exhale. Nice and easy, nice and slow. Breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Open your eyes. Doesn't that feel better? Yes. Let's meet now on the mat and let's meet in all fours. Also referred to as tabletop. The hands are underneath the shoulders, the knees are underneath the wrists. Point your toes so the tops of the feet face back behind you. Now let's roll the shoulders back and down. Peel the heart forward and then lift the tailbone and feel that beautiful extension on the front of the spine. Take a few breaths here in a pose we affectionately call cow pose. Breathing in, feeling the heart reaching forward and the tailbone reaching up and towards the crown of the head. A few breaths here to really open up the front of the body. Right, send the gaze up a little bit, keep breathing. Nice and slow, nice and easy. Feel yourself at home in your own body with all the nooks and crannies. Great. Stay in the shape, sway the hips a little right and left. Sway, sway, sway. And you might send the hips to the right, gaze to the right, hips to the left, gaze to the left. To get a little side body action in the cow pose. Good, come back to center, nice and slow. Drop the tailbone, keep the heart lifted. Drop the tailbone so you start at the base of the spine. And then press the sacrum, the triangular shaped bone, big bone, press it back and then lift the low back, mid back, upper back, head drops. Come to this shape of cat. Drop your head, shake it out a little bit, let it happen. Take a few breaths here as you press and equally into the right and left palm, equally down through the right and left shin. Pressing the tops of the ankles in, tops of the feet, spread your toes nice and wide, spread your fingers nice and wide, spread your breath nice and wide into the back body. Feel the back of the heart lift up to the heavens, breathing. Very nice, and then slow-mo, sail between the two, <laughs> the two worlds. Yes, little slow cat-cow action for the purpose not only of waking up the spine, of course, but wake up your awareness of what it feels like to be you this morning. Yeah. Great. 
From here, tuck your toes under. Drop the hips back down towards the heels and feel the stretch in the soles of the feet as you reach both arms forward. You might step one hand forward and the other hand forward a little bit and spread the fingers wide and press down through the thumb and index finger, especially to open up the inner channels. Feel the tailbone reach back, feel the heels reach back, feel the knees reach back while the spine lengthens forward. And you might continue the journey, walking the hands a little bit more forward and then eventually melting the heart down towards the earth and dropping your head. Breathe. So wide in the collarbone, front and back. Down through the tailbone towards your heels. Big, full torso stretch, breathing in. Breathing out, feel this from the armpits all the way down to the sit bones. Ooh. Yes. All right, gaze forward. And the hands back in line under the shoulders. Keep your toes tucked. Arms are straight. Lift the tailbone up to the sky and then lift your knees up a little bit and feel that engagement in the deep, low belly. Finding strength, tailbone up to the sky. Keep your knees bent, press through the hands, right and left. If the feet aren't hip distance, bring them hip distance, keep the knees bent. Now draw the heart back towards your thighs. Press the arms forward, drop your head, shake it out a little bit. Feel this nice, beautiful stretch. And then just the right heel comes down towards the earth, staying up onto the toes, tippy toes of the left foot. And feel that nice, beautiful stretch in the hamstring of the right leg. And then do the opposite. Let's start with two bent knees. So bend your right knee, tippy toes on the right side and left side. Slow-mo, drop the left heel down towards the earth and enjoy that nice, beautiful stretch. Breathing in, sit bones reaching up, tailbone reaching up. Little bit of navel to the spine. Lot of awareness from the heart down the arms into the hands, spreading the fingers nice and wide. Good. Dual tippy toes, bend your left knee. Both knees bent. Press the sit bones back, melt your heart down, and then exhale both heels down towards the earth at the same time. Full body downward facing dog. Breathe in. You might even lift the toes, spread them a little bit, drop them back down towards the earth. Breathing out. And it's the energy of acceptance as the heels with each and every breath go lower and lower and lower towards the earth. My hands are pressing and grounded and your feet are grounded energetically or physically or both. Ground yourself spiritually in your heart, breathing in knowing you are home. Call yourself home. Gooey at the base of the skull, soft in the eyes and the jaw, fully engaged with your breath. Excellent. Come up onto your toes again. Bend both knees, come all the way down onto the earth. Untuck the toes. Draw the hips back down to the heels. Come on up. Let's just take a moment here and ground that beautiful downward facing dog. This isn't comfortable on your knees and hips. Come to a comfortable Sukhasana, cross-legged pose. I like to draw my heels together. <sighs> Sit bones onto the heels. Long, beautiful spine and open heart. Turn the palms up towards the sky. Draw the elbows back just a little bit and feel into that back body and that long length of the spine and lift your crown up towards the sky. Crown of the head up. And then back off the, the intensity a little bit and just drop your, your hands down. Feel the elbows come right underneath the shoulders. Feel the palms of the hands nice and receptive. Again, soften the eyes and soft through the jaw, and long through the spine, and open in the heart and ground it down through your legs. And to bring your awareness right to the crown of the head 
a little bit of lift of the crown up towards the head, close your eyes. And maybe, maybe, maybe touching into the very top of the head as it reaches up towards the heavens, finding your own North Star. And breathe into the alignment of feeling truly at home in your own body, your own spirit, your own heart. And capture that energy by bringing the palms together at the heart in Anjali Mudra. Sending you lots of love and aloha from my home to you. Namaste. Namaste.